Alicia Keys, we need you to come to the front of the class. We got a few things that we need to discuss. I respect everybody's opinion. You're entitled to it. And I'm also entitled to mine. I don't agree with you allowing your four-year-old son to paint his nails in a rainbow or the rainbow color. I don't feel like a four-year-old have those type of choices. You got choices of what type of cereal you want to eat. You don't have the type of choices to paint your nails or to portray homosexuality. I have nothing against homosexuals, lesbians, whatever. Do your thing. I don't have to agree with it. And I don't have to be around it. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to it just like you're entitled to whichever way you want to live. So I'm not going to go too deep in it. I'm just going to let y'all watch the video. It's your boy, one pole. The other day, I went to the nail salon with Genesis. He's in the chair. And he's like, I want rainbow. So he tells the lady that he wants rainbow colors on his on his nails. And she brings all of these colors and she paints each nail a different color. And after he painted his nails, he looked at me and said, Mommy, I don't want this on my nails. And I was like, why? You were so sure you're good. And he was like, people are not going to like it. Can you believe this? Four years old. He's four. And he already understands the concept that someone's going to judge him because he chose rainbow color on his nails. And I told him, why? Nobody's going to judge it. They're going to love it. It's so cool. Like, look how creative you are. Look how amazing you had this idea. Stick with it. You chose it. You liked it. You do it. Who cares what anybody else says? And so I said, plus, you know, a lot of guys paint their nails. This is not like some strange thing that you only do. He was like, really? I was like, yeah. So many, so many. And that made him feel better, but it just got me to thinking how completely judged we are all the time. The way I see it is that there is masculine and there's feminine energies inside of us all, you know? And that's period. That's just how it is. And it gets concerning to me that we can't just explore these different sides of ourselves, you know, these different energies that are within us. And even for me, myself, you know, I oftentimes express the masculine energy that's inside of me. And it's very natural to me. That's how I feel. And all the time, if that happens, there's the judgments and there's the stereotypes and there's all the, the energy that comes toward that. And for my boys, you know, similar. If they want to express the feminine energy that's inside of them. There's all these judgments and all these rules and stereotypes and, and vibes. And it's it's really frustrating to me. I'm actually really, really frustrated about it. And I, I ask myself, why is that? Like, why can't we just express the different energies that are inside us? You know, this is a very normal, ancient, powerful spiritual understanding that we all have masculine and feminine energies and we should be able to explore and express them however we want to. What do you think? That was my rant. It's a major rant. I did that.